Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, back to another Destiny 2 video. And in today's video, we are going to be breaking down the most recent Curse of Osiris DLC teaser trailer. The one that takes a look at some of the gear and weapons we can hope to earn next week. Of course, this week, the live stream for Curse of Osiris was cancelled in favour of a blog post that spoke about Destiny 2's future and their plans to improve the endgame both this year and going into the new year. So if you guys haven't seen that, I will link my video down below. It goes over all the planned changes. But that, of course, took place instead of the live stream. However, while we're not going to get that stream, they did still release the trailer. And in this, we get a look at some new gear, some new weapons, and some new exotics as well. So I figured we'd break it all down. If you do enjoy this, then like we super appreciate it. Comment down below if you have any questions. But let's dive right in. So the first part of the trailer is, of course, just a cinematic taken from the beginning of the game. So if we skip past all of that and turn our attention to the very first gameplay scene, this is a warlock wearing what I assume is the new monarchy ornamented gear. Now, bear in mind, in Season 2, which starts at the beginning of Curse of Osiris, they are going to have ornaments for the faction gear, Iron Banner gear, some of the Vanguard and Crucible gear, a few other sets as well, like the new Raid Lair set from the Leviathan Raid Lair. But based on the concept art they released a little while ago, this, especially that big sort of lion sigil on the chest piece, that appears to be the new monarchy faction gear with the ornaments on. However, the weapon being wielded here is, of course, the second trace rifle because when destiny 2 launched cold heart was of course the first and only trace rifle to begin with and obviously given how popular it is they clearly decided to add in another one we don't have a name for this yet or any perks but we're going to tentatively call it i guess warm heart because it appears to be the polar opposite to cold heart still looks pretty cool we can of course see the titan wielding it here spinning around with a weapon on his back looks to be from the hacker foundry also wearing some pretty cool gear i think this is some of the osiris slash vex themed gear we also have the Hunter spinning around, also wielding that weapon, but on his back is a new sword. It seems to follow the sort of Egyptian theme, so I'm going to guess this is something tied to Osiris again. However, moving forward from there, we then get a look at a brand new grenade launcher. Now, grenade launchers, of course, haven't been that exciting. However, this one, an exotic grenade launcher, appears to fire out little tracker spiders instead. So, basically, to circumvent the fact that grenade launchers are poop. They've then given you a tracking spider that you then fire on the ground, it chases people, blows up, and appears to do some pretty decent damage. I can see it being useful, of course, in Crucible, because you can chase individual targets. Whether it'll be useful for, say, the wider PvE game when you factor in, like, bosses, who knows? But it's definitely really cool, it's definitely something that we haven't really seen before, so that is something I'm excited to check out. It also appears to be part of the Vice Weapon Foundry, given the colour scheme. Next up, we have three guardians here dancing the hunter, once again wearing the ornamented new monarchy gear. As for the other ones, not entirely too sure where those ones are from just yet, but the helmet, I want to draw your attention to that one that the Titan is wearing, is without a doubt an exotic helmet, a brand new exotic helmet, so that in itself is pretty cool. Plus, moving on to the next one, we have the hunter with these rather interesting gauntlets. Now, these look the same as the ones we see from the picture. This was used as the header image for this week's Bungie blog post. However, the main difference being that the one in the picture don't have these glowing blue spikes. These ones do. So if you see it in just the trailer, it would make me think that maybe it's an exotic. However, when you factor in that it appears to be a lot more standard in the picture, this could well be, say, a set of ornaments for that to give it a little extra flair. The weapon being wielded there is, of course, the Osiris-themed, I assume, auto rifle or pulse rifle. And if we then jump over to the Warlock, you can also see those blue spikes present on those arms as well. But they do to me, look a little bit more exotic because they appear to not necessarily match the rest of the gear because the future war cult gear is being worn here, of course. This appears to be an ornamented version, once again, so that's something else to think about. The next important scene is, again, the Titan with that fancy-looking helmet, but also using the Drop the Mic exotic emote because also in Season 2, the old exotic emotes are being pushed out in favour of some new ones. We've seen Drop the Mic, and at the very end of this trailer, we'll actually get a look at a second one, one that I am definitely excited to check out. Of course, jumping over here... It is the sweeper bot emo, and as a supporter of the sweeper bot, this is definitely one I wouldn't mind grabbing myself. And also don't forget that they are going to be introducing a new UI to allow you to equip multiple emotes, not just one in your typical free slot. So once you do start to get more of these, they'll of course be slightly more useful to you. Last thing I want to do is turn my attention back to this image here. This was of course the header image. Right in the center we see that interesting spider-like grenade launcher. To the left we see the new warm heart so to speak the titan with the fancy helmet that warlock helmet is just a standard legendary part of the vex osiris themed gear set as is the same for the hunter that is basically the set you get from brother vance but more interestingly the hand cannon that is definitely an exotic it looks like a hand cannon version of red death it's got those spikes it's got the like mini little 
bayonet on the front, so it looks really cool. Definitely has the same sort of bloody pattern to it as well. And in terms of perks, we'll of course have to wait and see. So, that's pretty much it. Just a really quick trailer. It was only a teaser trailer anyway. But let's look at a few bits of new gear, some new weapons, and some new exotics for us to start earning starting next week. For the time being, that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of some of the new weapons. And thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.